morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sir Meerkat. Welcome back to the Moto Meerkat channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd start another series. Yes, I know, another one. But I'm having so many ideas of videos that I really want to try out and just see what you all think of them. So I took inspiration for the name of this series from the popular game at the moment, Call of Duty Warzone, which I'm sure a lot of you are playing. So when you kill a whole team in that game, you get a team wipe. Hence why I thought it would be an interesting name for a series where I explore the story of teams who were killed by Formula 1. And for the first episode of the series, I thought what better team to start with than Midland F1. So let's begin. So the Midland group, owned by Alex Schneider, showed interest in involvement with Formula 1 in 2004. They were linked with the purchase of the Jaguar F1 team for quite some time, and there was also speculation that they may create a new team altogether. But they ended up actually buying out the Jordan team for $60 million prior to the 2005 season. And in this 2005 season, it saw the team continue to run under the Jordan name, but they ended up being pretty useless. This was mainly thanks to their rookie drivers, Narain Kartikeyan and Thiago Montero, meant they ended up finishing ninth out of the 10 constructors, only five points ahead of Minardi, who are also pretty rubbish. Montero did actually manage to bag a third place at the USGP, which would be an incredible result for such a team, but it sort of takes away from the achievement when you remember that this was the USGP where only six cars actually started the race. So after this season of poor results in 2005, there were many reports that Midland were looking to offload the team already before the 2006 season had even started, and lots of their staff began to leave, such as chief engineer and designer Mark Smith and team principal Trevor Carlin, who you may recognise from a little team in both F2 and F3 under the same name. However, a buyout did not actually occur and MF1 Racing was born. So their car for the 2006 season, the Midland M16, was shown off running Toyota engines and sporting a new red, white and black livery. Click the iCard above, let me know in the poll if you like the livery or not. It's an interesting one, I'll definitely say that. It was rumoured that Midland intended to field F1's first ever Russian driver, Roman Ruzanov. So other Russian drivers had tested an F1, but none of them had actually been drafted in for a race seat. But they instead decided to pinch the Dutchman Christian Albers from Minardi whilst retaining their previous driver Thiago Montero. This is probably for the best as Russian drivers seem to enjoy a little bit of a torpedo move from time to time. The team also attempted to sign Takuma Sato but he instead signed with the all new Japanese team Super Aguri who is another team I'll definitely have to make an episode on in the future. As the season went on it became abundantly clear that although their cars would make the odd appearance in Q2 and battle on track occasionally with some midfield teams such as Toro Rosso, Midland was not exactly destined for greatness. And as you can see from the results on screen now, they didn't quite set the track alight with their pace. And you may be wondering, but Sir Meerkat, they got 9th and 10th in Hungary, surely they're some solid championship points? But no, you silly silly boys, this was back when the point system only went down to 8th place. Gutting. So due to these not so incredible results, Schneider decided enough was enough and put the team up on the market. There was huge speculation around the sale of the team, with a price tag being reported of $128 million. Now, as you remember from earlier in the video, Schneider bought the team for $60 million. So why did the price increase so much? Well, there was such a huge increase in price of all values of teams since Schneider had bought off Eddie Jordan because after 2008 no more teams were going to be allowed to enter F1 and the 12 spaces that were allocated had already been filled. But on September the 9th 2006 it was announced that Spiker Cars were to buy out the team reportedly paying 106.6 million dollars for it in the end. Even after this buyout mid-season not much really changed for the team for the rest of the 2006 season. Most of the staff 
staff stayed the same and so did the drivers. However, the F1 regulations stated that the team's name could not be changed in the middle of the season, but Spiker being the very, very clever boys that they were, were able to find a cheeky loophole and instead made their brand the title sponsor of the team. This meant that they made a whole new logo for the team as well, which I'll pop on screen now. As you can see, they really wanted to distance themselves from the MF1, making it as small as physically possible. And a revised livery was also created for the last few races, combining the white and black of the MF1 car and the orange branding from the Spyker. And as I said earlier, this mid-season buyout really didn't have any effect on the team, and they still finished the championship with zero points before being rebranded completely to just Spiker for the 2007 season, with no mention of MF1 anymore. But Spiker are another team that I'm going to have to make an episode on as well. And fun fact, Spiker eventually went on to become Force India, who've then become Racing Point, who are now becoming Aston Martin. God, this gets confusing. I'm exhausted. I think we'll end the video there. So thank you so much for watching my first episode of Team White. If you did enjoy this new little idea for a series, be sure to drop a like on the video and let me know down in the comments which failed F1 teams you'd like to see me cover in new episodes. And also hit that big red button to subscribe to the channel because I make motorsport content every Tuesday and every Friday that you're not going to want to miss. But yeah, as I said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you meerkats later. Goodbye guys!